Hello. Today, I'd like to talk about the value of taking a Google Doc and publishing it on the web. One of the advantages of this is that when you have a Google Doc, even if you're sharing it with other users, a lot of the time some of the features are not as clean and published as you would like them. For instance, in this doc, if I click on my name, this link comes up, and I can click on that to visit the link, but that's an extra step, and it doesn't feel as clean as a published web element. Also, when visiting a doc, you always have the editing toolbar up here, again, which is certainly cluttered, and takes away from the main document, when all you want to do is share the content, not allow people to edit or collaborate on the document. So one option to fix this is to publish your Google Doc. The way you do this is by going up here to File, and then choosing Publish to the Web. From here, you'll get a pop-up with a few options. First, you have the option to automatically republish when changes are made. I prefer to leave this checked. That way I don't have to go in and do any manual updating when I make changes to my initial document. Now what happens next is Google is going to provide us with a link that will remain consistent and always be the most up-to-date published document. So I'm going to choose to start publishing and acknowledge that I really do want to publish the document. Now, I'm going to get a public link that can be used to access the published document. There's also an embed code in case I want to add it to an existing site. I also have the option of quickly sharing it via some social media platforms through these links here, which is convenient for quick and easy sharing of my doc. So I'm going to copy the basic link and then open a new tab and paste it in. Here you can see my published document. It has the title at the top, and the links are active, like in a normal web page, instead of how they appeared in my original document. Now, if for whatever reason you want to take something down off the web after publishing it, you have that option as well. Head to the File menu and choose Publish to the Web again. All you have to do is click on the Stop Publishing button and confirm your choice in order to turn off the live link and publish document. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.